to allow for some setup here because I'm going to call up a uh, guitarist. Um, I'm going to call up Jean Burnett. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, now, I don't know. We've been doing these open mics for many, many years. And I, I recall the first time you shared that story with us, Uncle Marvin. And it was a few years ago. So I was sitting back there, and, and you, you came up with the first one. I was like, no, no, that's not the first one, man. That's not the first one. It's such a good story. I've shared it with friends, but I've always had to make sure they knew. That came from Uncle Marvin. Right. Ashland Original. Right on. All right. Now, um, I just want to do a quick introduction of uh, Gene Burnett, and I hope he does a shout out for the local open mic that he hosts as well. Um, an incredibly talented local performer, uh, singer, songwriter, and Tai Chi instructor, and the cool children. Please welcome Gene Burnett. All right, let's get the plugs out of the way. We got some plugs. May 22nd, this month, uh, Monday night, at the Wild Goose, other end of town. It's the 16th annual Bob Dylan's Birthday Bash Open Mic. So if you love Bob Dylan, come down. He's turned 76 this year and doesn't look a day over 90. So <laughs> get on down to the Goose, Monday night, the 22nd. It's all Dylan all night long. And then, um, uh, uh, what time? Uh, about 8 o'clock. Uh, I host an open mic on the first Wednesday of every month, also at the Wild Goose. Different theme every month, June 7th, first Wednesday in June. Songs of mountains, let, or in bodies of water in them. It can be on top of a smoky, or if there's a mountain, or an ocean, or a stream, or any water at all, really, in the song. Or a mountain, you're good to go. And, August 22nd. I will be performing across the street at the Oregon Shakespeare Festival Green Show. Yeah. All right, I know this is a no hate, uh, no hate zone. I'm all for that. Most open mics and poetry slams here in town we say no hate zone, but there is uh, there is something that uh, stirs up a lot of hate and also a lot of love and a lot of indifference uh, here in Ashland. And uh, I'm talking, of course, about uh, the deer. Uh, some people just hate the deer. They are gardeners and they, they have to build these huge fences and the deer jump over them anyway and eat all their stuff. Or they've trampled their dogs or they've trampled their kids. So they, they, they hate the dog. They hate the deer. Uh, other people love the deer, love the deer so much that they actually feed the deer and uh, try to help them in, in any way they can. Some, some people are indifferent, don't care, think there are more important things to worry about than the deer. Uh, some people think we should cull these deer and, and fill the food banks uh, with venison. Uh, we should dart them and take them out and gently butcher them and, and fill the food banks. Uh, some people feel that we owe it to the deer to kill them because we have taken away all their predators. We took away the wolves and the grizzly bears and the cougars and the deer have no one to take out the weak ones so they're becoming unhealthy and weak and mangy and that we should we owe it to them to, to, to cull their numbers every few years. In the bridge of this song, you will get a chance to express your particular take on this issue. <laughs> if you love the deer and think that we should just leave them alone and just let them do their thing, you get to go like this. <laughs> so any deer lovers in the crowd here tonight? Yeah. Anybody at all? Some people who love the deer. Okay, so you just do this. Now, if you hate the deer and think that, or, or just feel logically that there's too many of them and they're dangerous and we need to call them, I, I won't say shoot the them, but you, you can look at the people who have the animals and you can do like a... <laughs> That's the darting part. It doesn't hurt the deer. They just fall over and then later they're gently killed. And so, if you don't like the deer, you do a darting motion. And if you are indifferent to the deer and think that this is just a waste of time to even think about the deer, you can just sit there with your arms. Oh. Um, when we get to the bridge of the song, which I will alert you to, Right? So you got your opinion, right? Everybody has an opinion on the deer. Positive, negative, or indifference. Positive. Negative. Different. All right. Well, some would like to dart me and befriend or for. Don't worry, the deer win in this song. And when the drugs wear off, kill us and feed the poor. But that will never Pretty city deer. <laughs> They're pretty 
city dear, you know who we are. Your gardens and your parks are our salad bars. We're pretty city dear, we don't have to hide. You cannot harm a hair on our pretty city dear backside. Well, you chased up all the wolves and the mountain lions, thanks. But if you shoot at us, well, you have to pay a fine. We walk right down the sidewalk, we have lost our fear. Get out of our way, we're pretty little city dear. We're pretty city dear, you know who we are. Your gardens and your parks are our salad bars. We're pretty city dear, we don't have to hide. You cannot harm a hair on our pretty city dear backside. Here we go. Ready? Up on my stuff. Um, 